name is Miranda and today I'm here to react to episode 6 of season 2 of Scum, Espana. I feel like this season has kind of just already started to fly by without me really fully realizing it. I feel like it's because like yes it's Isaac's season but it's also so different you know like in parts where it ends and the changes they've made that like I didn't realize that if it's still going to be 10 episodes like an Isaac season we're more than halfway through by now so like I'm not ready. I'm not ready to say start saying goodbye and winding down and stuff. What's more pressing is I have no idea what's about to happen because we do have episodes left, but that means bad things are going to start coming. And episode five ended on a rather, I don't want to say it ended on a happier note because Lucas got punched in the face and obviously that's horrible. So it didn't end on a good note, but it ended with Joanna and Chris still being together. So that's different. So we'll see what's going to happen with that. And we still have to see if um, Evan's bipolar disorder is going to come up in, with Joanna. I feel like we've gotten some hints about it, but I could also see where it's not at the same time. So I'm curious, curiouser and curiouser to see what's going to happen. She got that camel on, you know I love it. Poor Lucas. Hey. That was kind of a brush off, right? I brush off. You look so pretty now. We also don't want Chris to fall apart. We could be talking about her right now. Joanna. Did none of the other girls see that except for her? Oh, I saw this on Instagram and I thought it was really cute because he has a picture of him and um, Ava behind him. Knocked down, but he got back up. Is it another hangover day? Oh no, she's sick. <laughs> but dad's like, good call. Is anyone with me shipping Danny and Ava or is it just me? <laughs> Every time I see him, I'm like, ask about it. She wasn't really sick, but she, she looked so good. Like, I'm impressed at how sick she made herself look. Mm-hmm. You best hope your mom does not call right now or show up like an overly worried mother. <laughs> Ooh, look at that tattoo. You're so soft. <laughs> She's obsessed with her eyes. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. Look at her face, she's like, mm -hmm.
This is so cute. This reminds me of when um, Alex and Mia just had their whole, like, three days together. Oh, she can't cook. It's so funny because someone else pointed this out. It's like they're both Evan sometimes, you know? Like, they have moments of things that are similar to both what he has. You know what I mean? <laughs> Better write her back or else she's going to drive down there, I'm sure. That's my, what my mom would do. <laughs> Yes. Yes, someone who's watched her for five episodes now. I can't confirm. <laughs> like a cat. If it tastes like pizza, I'm impressed, but I don't have much. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, no. This I'm so stupid. I thought they were boy Chris. And I was like, oh, interesting. <laughs> they were like, yeah, of course. <laughs> Yay! Oh, hey, bye. Why does Vera look like she's about to freak out? We don't have to be so concerned with labeling it, people. I wish we as like a society would be fine with that, you know what I mean? Like if you want to label it and you know what you are and you know what you're attracted to, great. But if you don't, it's okay. Oh no, they're making her magnets. <laughs> Thank you, Ava. Well, it took Joanna a long time to put that ice away. I don't know how Viri feels about it because she still looks like weird, but I don't know if it's just like shocking or. Okay. How are you? So they made up. That's good. <laughs> she's just the best. I love her this season. She got her fabulous haircut and she's just living her life. <laughs> John was like, get it out. Get it out. She literally is magnets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the couple of the hour. Yay. Of course, Beery's right there. <laughs> Nor's like, look, <laughs> poor Alejandro is just sitting there like. Look at Joanna being a good host, helping clean up. I'm proud of her owning up to it. That's like her, you know, starting to change because she usually doesn't own up to her mistakes. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Aww, friendship. It's so sweet how unbelievably happy he is for her, you know what I mean? Like, that's just so supportive. It's so amazing. And that she was able to say sorry for what she did, like, that's just great. I wonder if that's a metaphor for something like down one of yours saying that Nora was like, <gasps> Billy, 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 as in Billy Eilish. Here you go, Billy. Everyone's so happy. It's not going to last, but I'm so, you know, just enjoying it now. She's so good. Nora season has to be next. They're setting it up so much for her. Oh, I think Lucas is picking up on it. Oh, and so is Beery. But at least I think she's just seen that Alejandro likes Nora. Like, it's not like Nora's looking back and she's like, oh. Like, I think she's just realizing, which is good if she knows that before the season starts. He is right there. And as it's just like... Yeah, okay, she knows. But I'm okay with that because I feel like it's good for her to know, you know? I also love how Billy is the one commonality between all these Scum remakes. <laughs> Aside from, you know, the storyline and the characters. <laughs> oh, is this like her secret little place? She's never taken anyone before. They're literally like uh, Ellie and Lucas, like they're gonna miss each other for one night and then see each other at school and they're like, I can't be without you. Is she going to be gone like she did yesterday? Chris is just not good at commitment. It's okay. It's not you. That was a big step, though, giving her that necklace, and Chris was just kind of like, yep. She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> She's gone, Anna. Where'd she go, though, so fast? Like, doesn't she have to go through the apartment or something, or maybe not? So she just took that as, like, a rejection when more it was kind of like Chris just, you know, I think not fully realizing the importance of that necklace. Look at her hair. The shot is so pretty with the sun. <laughs> I just get struck by their beauty sometimes. I'm like, how are they so pretty? That sucks, man. Like, I know both their point of views, and neither one is getting the other ones. Oh my gosh. So I feel like next week, maybe, maybe if they're going to keep stuff, I don't know if it's going to be necessarily a mental illness thing that's going to happen with Joanna, or if it's just going to be something that happened with her friends because she was definitely talking about like oh it's nice that you have people that you can trust fully like that and even when like Chris was saying that like she didn't tell her friends because like she's not sure how they react Joanna was like oh yeah you can't like trust people I get that and Chris was like no I trust them like it was like not a thing for her like she was like I just don't know how to tell them you know so there's definitely something that they're hinting at and like how her mom was so worried about where she was I could see the mental illness thing and 
I think it will be happening. I want to say it will be, but I could also see it being something else, something where she was just like really bullied or hurt by friends or something like that. Something with the necklace is going to come out. I feel like about how important, what the importance is behind that, because it obviously is important. Like she was giving her basically like a big piece of herself and Chris kind of like gave it back unintentionally. You know, I feel like it didn't, she didn't know the significance of the necklace. Next week's going to be definitely really interesting because it'll feel like you know, all her friends know, Lucas knows, Amira met her, like, I feel like she's gonna kind of feel stupid if this girl was just using her, but at least now they'll be able to help her through it and kind of help her not just stay in her head and spiral and overreact potentially. So I'm really, really interested to see what's gonna happen in the next episode, because I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna end, if it's gonna end on like a cliffhanger kind of thing you know but if you have seen this episode please feel free to leave your thoughts about down in the comments also make sure this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time bye